Okay, so uh, do we see a lot of the mess in the background? There is no mess. Really? Okay. Okay, well, but it's, it, as long as it's not distracting, we're good. I'm ready whenever you Okay, I'm ready. Well, here we are. The, we're recording right now. Yeah. Central Park West, time flies. Having some sun, going for a run, looking pretty, looking hot, looking sexy. Uh, more than happy and thrilled to have my boys. Uh, I'm a big fan of great actors. I'm a big fan of great writers. I'm a big fan of great artists. And I had the pleasure and the honor to have two wonderful actors at my place. My God, help me, Lord. Ali Arcane and Scott McCorn. Did I say your name right? You said it right. Oh, I can't believe it. I rehearsed your name a hundred times last night, and I got it right. So uh, we're more than thrilled. We're going to talk about Mark Prokoski, a uh, studio member. He's a hell of a writer, a hell of a playwright, and as far as I'm concerned, he's one of the best writers in New York. And he wrote this beautiful play called The Headhunter. That's quite a title. Fascinated play, two act play. And we have the actors here. They're going to bring it on. You're not going to see me much. This is their show. I, I, in fact, I'm going to go to the bathroom when they talk. So, uh, you guys, this is your home. Feel comfortable. We're going to have an exchange of ideas. And let's talk about the process. Please, you bring it on. Ali and Scott, it's all yours. Hi. Yeah. Let's talk about the play. All right. Yeah. The idea of doing this play. The idea of doing this play. So how it all started? Yes. How it all came about? When it, yeah. it, it really started with you. Um, so I was uh, on Facebook and I saw uh, Mark posted something. He's a friend of mine on there. I know him from the studio because mm -hmm. I'm a finalist there. Yes. And I saw that he said there's a play of his that got accepted into a monologue book as one of the best like monologues. So I tried to look for the play, The Headhunter. Mm -hmm. Couldn't find it. I sent him an email mm -hmm. and I said, uh, I can't find this fucking play. Uh -huh. where, where is it? And he said, um, I'll email it to you. Okay. So he emailed it to me. I read it in like two days and I said, can I use this play? I want to use it. I want to ask a member to work on it with me in session and or use it for my final audition or you know and so I then I kept thinking about it and I saw my friend uh, Glory Cadigan who started the Planet Connections Theater uh -huh. uh, festival the Planet Connection and um, I asked her is there any way we could be in this if I could if I could uh, if I found a good play to work on so then she said, let me see what you could do. The person running it this year is so-and-so. I sent him an email. Mm -hmm. I asked Mark first if we could do it. And Mark's like, yeah, if you get accepted, you could do it. I'll let you have the rights to do it in the, in the, in the festival. So they said yes. And we... How long ago was it? It was like in um, Ju May, Ju the end of May, mm -hmm. I think. I'm bad with time. Mm -hmm. And we didn't know who was going to play Casimir. I knew I was going to play Salvi. Yeah. And I knew Scott because he was a finalist at the time. Now he's a member. Mm -hmm. Active studio member. He's an active studio member. Uh, he made it to the next level. They kept me as a finalist again, which I'm grateful for. And uh, I saw him working and, and I saw it. And he's a great, he's a great, great actor. So... I wanted to work with him on something, mm -hmm. and then I knew he could do this character. Mm -hmm. I knew I could play off of him. I knew we could create some magic. Uh, I think I'm a great actor too, which might sound arrogant to say I it. I love it. No, no, no. So we could work off each other and we could do something great, you know? So we started, I sent him the play. I told M Mark saw him uh, do some work and was like, oh yeah, he's a good actor. Use him if he could do it. So then we, he did it. I sent him the play, and he's like, okay, we can do this. Let's do this. And then... Uh, the birth of the headhunter. Birth of the headhunter. And then, that uh, and then that was it. We Pretty much we got the director, David Diaz Jr. Um, then we got uh, Nicole Amarell to do the, the stage, direct, uh, stage uh, managing. Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple of months later, here we are. Yeah. 
We got like five days left. Days away. <laughs> days away. So we've been. I mean, you can tell them how much we've been together doing this stuff. I mean, I see Scott more than I see anybody. Yeah, see, I mean, I see these people. We're working. It's like twenty-four-seven job trying to really sink our teeth into these characters and the story, mm-hmm. and. Uh, you know, we don't want to do nothing false, so we want to do something real. Sure. Yeah, and it's been a, uh, it's certainly been a big challenge because I think for both Ali and I, we've never, I've never done a two-hander this, this big. When you called your squad the mic, Mike, Mike, Michael, we'll, we'll it's, it's, we'll it's okay, we're okay. okay. We're good. So I'll pick that up. <clears throat> um, yeah, so the, the challenge, um, you know, doing it, doing any kind, any play, first of all, is, you know, has is, is got its challenges, doing it, uh, a two-hander mm-hmm. that's 80 pages, you know, and in this case, nobody ever leaves the stage. Right. It's just us that's there the entire time, you know, and we have to, uh, you know, we had a lot of lines, we had a lot of dialogue that we had to get down, and so we actually, that was, we knew that that, that was the first part of the challenge that we were, we were going to tackle. Mm-hmm. So cause we knew we were going to be married, essentially, through this whole process, mm-hmm. and that we could learn together, right? right? So it's been a lot of uh, a lot of early rehearsals where it was just uh, Ali and I reading the play down, reading the play down, you know, reading it for Mark, talking about stuff, ta- you know, talking character and all that. But then outside of that, Ali and I did all this homework in the evening. We're still doing it, of course, too, where we, you know, we have a day of rehearsal, we run lines, we go home, we eat, and then we Skype each other, uh-huh. and we're running lines. Uh-huh. Ali even came and stayed at my house this weekend, and we literally did a you know weekend marathon session of just just getting all that it, Mark's wonderful dialogue. It just, you know, encoded in our bones. Uh, I'm laughing because tell them the story, man. Tell them the story. You should tell the story? Yeah, yeah tell the story. Yeah, a quick up, little story. <laughs> so Ali and, I, Ali and I, our families are away from us right now. We're, we're basically flying solo, the two of us. And we knew this would be good because to a, very, to a certain degree, we can get into this later, too. Our characters are lonely guys. Yeah. Who have each other. And they're... <laughs> And so, uh, anyway, Ali came, came to stay this weekend, and, and we just, you know, like I said, we just dedicated ourselves to the work. Mm-hmm. And so we're, you know, we're jamming and jamming and jamming, and then we'd stop, and we'd take a break, and we'd have some lunch, and then, you know, we'd rest our brains for a second, we'd jump back in again, and just jam it and jam it and jam it and jam it. And we're drilling all of Mark's beautiful, beautiful dialogue. <clears throat> and then at a certain point, uh, we realized it was almost midnight. It's like, okay, we've gone, we've gone hard. And we were getting... You know, we were getting bleary. We were kind of looking at each other, you know. He kind of hit that point where your brain, you know what I mean? It was like, we just didn't think we could do anymore, you know. Been all day. Mm-hmm. So we decided to take a break, go to bed. And so Ali goes downstairs in my place and have a, we have a little guest room down there. Mm-hmm. Good night. And as I'm walking away, he goes, hey, man, it smells like gas down here. <laughs> what are you talking yeah, about? It yeah. smelled like, you know, like... <laughs> We went down there, and sure enough, it smelled like there was a gas leak or something, which is, you know, it's a bit of a thing. So, I don't know, we kind of futzed about deciding what we were going to do. We didn't know what to do, and then finally we wound up on outside of the house on the street going, well, we shouldn't be in the house if it's a gas leak. We called for some, you know, some repairs, and they, they eventually came. But I guess the, the great part about the story is, is that while we were waiting for this, you know, for the, uh, um, uh, um, the guys to show up, um, Ali and I were out. It had just rained. This is kind of a very beautiful memory. It's very romantic, oh, it, isn't it? It was very romantic. We were out on the street at three in the morning running act one. <laughs> yeah, but it just you, do, you do this, you no, get this, it, right? It, it you, just, you just want to, like all of a sudden we're like, well, we're here, we're up. But you know, we didn't like, we didn't consciously like, No, you just started. You just go like into a decision going, okay, listen, let's just work yeah. this time. We are weird, right? Like we are. Yeah, exactly. So we didn't like consciously just go into, oh, we're right. going to just start running. I don't know what happened. I just went, how the fuck can you do this to me? You started with the first line of the play. Yeah, and I looked at him without a beat, you know, because we here we've been doing it all day, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And that's really exciting, you know. I think it's that thing where, and I know you can appreciate too, it's like for us, and Ali and I talk a lot about this too, like there's no real separation in our, in our art and our life. I mean, we're just kind of, you, we just have slowly sort of, I think, feel like we've become mm-hmm. our characters and we're just constantly living. You know, Ali and I did a lot of... Uh, you know, we did a lot of work where we, we would just go out and meet each other. We went to Hoboken where the play takes place. Uh-huh. We yeah. actually went there, spent some time in character. You know, we, we, really, we really just gave ourselves, you know, different ways of working where we just were the guys, you know, and at, outside of all rehearsals. Oh, it's just been a lot of homework, you know, yeah. that's really, I don't know, we were just saying last night too, it's, it's kind of interesting that we, 
we haven't hit that point where we're totally sick of each other yet. I don't think. No. I can speak for myself. I mean, I'm worried maybe one day, like, very soon, like in a couple months, or like a month after we're done with the show, show that we're just going to have like this big like divorce. <laughs> And you guys are gonna see each other yeah, then like, I'll see him at places who will make believe we don't see each other. And I'll go, yeah, that guy's a fucking asshole. That guy's an asshole. <laughs> no, but it was funny. Even the day we went to, uh, we went to Hoboken. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, that day we met in the city first. Mm. And it was the gay parade. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So hot. And it was, uh, it was and, and, and I'm all about that. And all like, everyone should do whatever, the he- whatever they want to do. And I support all that. But th- my character, like, I was just thinking how my character would think about that. In that context. In that context. And, uh-huh. I mean, he's, it was interesting to look at him and then we talk about it. I mean, we're not going around really, like, hurting anybody or no, getting yeah. hurt yeah. or anything. We were professionals. Yeah. But to really sit there as Salvi and think, how would he feel to see uh, men loving men and women loving women? in that context Mm -hmm. and to really talk to his cousin about that in character you know it was it was like a it was like a gift from the gods the acting gods to to give us such a like a wild image for salvi to see Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. here's a guy in like this is 1999 the place that like around that time Mm -hmm. here's a mafioso conservative in that sense, Italian, right. Italian, guy, you know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. To see him sit there and watch men kissing men, sure. women kissing women, and right. sh- like really expressing and really like openly uh, proud and all that stuff. It was interesting. It was really interesting. It was, it was cool. I think, was I think that's exercise? when I found, fa- we found the characters those day, that we, day. It's true. It and was like putting ourselves, because the, the play is so, um, claustrophobic in a way because it all takes place inside of Casimir's tiny little apartment in Hoboken. Mm -hmm. And what we allowed ourselves was to get, to let ourselves be affected by the environment. You know, Mm -hmm. we got out and whether it was people, we went to a restaurant. Uh, uh, At one point too, we were, we were on one of the piers. Yeah. You remember this? Oh my God. And we were, we were, we were playing out our dialogue and we were playing out a a section of the play that was very heated, very Mm -hmm. confrontational between us. You know, fuck you, fuck you, you know, this kind of stuff going on. And, (laughs) <laughs> this is the beauty of New York. Yeah, yeah, of course, we're doing yeah. this. We're in the middle of this, and this woman walks up as if nothing's going on. A tourist, of course. And literally stops us with her child and goes, yeah. could you, one of you guys take a picture of us? Oh. Yeah, and I look at her. <laughs> like she, I, you know, we're yelling at each other. She doesn't even care. She's like, could you, do you mind if... Uh, and I turn we, around, I look at her. I'm like looking at him like this. So and I turn around, look at her, and I'm like... Oh, yeah, he's in full Salvi mode. I'm like, and then I look at her, and I go, oh, yeah, 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 of yeah, course. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, yeah, yeah. And then she but kind it was of. Hilarious. She, 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 looked, she looked at me like this, and then I was like, oh, yeah, she's. Yeah. I'm having this, like, this brutal guy. And I was like, oh, no, 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 yeah, of course. <laughs> she's like, are you sure? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheese! You know? And it, was, it was good. It was cool. What a wonderful uh, exercise, though, for actors, you know, to really to take that outside of the world that you're, right. that's there in the play and to actually see, you know, and uh, it's a great thing, you know, to have that dinner together, to, to create. Oh, yeah. The process to the next level, to the next level. Well, because yeah. what do we have? What We're we cousins, have? Right. and we have history. Right. And what better right. way to create history than just to spend every fucking waking moment together and develop that history together right so I, that's, uh, I think these guys are so and, and I, I know these guys mm. are so familiar with each other mm-hmm. I mean mm-hmm. it's like our mothers are our sisters right. and they're close yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they they, they know each other. I mean we're from we come from our yeah. mothers and so we've known each other since we were born mm-hmm. I mean we gotta, I gotta know a little something about, about Scott's version of Casimir, and I think he should know a little, a little something about, uh, about my, ver- uh, about my version of Salvi, mm-hmm. in order for us to bring some sense of truth right. to these characters. Right. Now I'm not saying I'm gonna go around and start cutting people's heads off or, right. or killing people like yeah, Salvi. Mm-hmm. Salvi kills people. Mm-hmm. I don't think I have to go and kill someone to become Salvi, right. but I should understand what a violent individual I understand his psyche. yeah his psyche yeah i should understand his psychology to an extent mm-hmm. to a big extent i should understand right. his ex- uh, so i should do my research let me ask you guys what was yeah. your first impression when you read mark's words the first time you read oh. the play 
do you have a specific memory that you can go back to? What was your gut feeling when you were passing the pages, you mm. were reading the words back and forth, you go page number one, then page number 20, page 59, page 70. What was mm. coming through your head when you were reading the play for the first time? So when I first <laughs> read it, I'm reading the first couple pages. I'm like, okay, the dialogue is, is real. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. These are real words coming from real human beings. Uh -huh. not, uh, not caricatures, characters, people. And then Is when it I... intimidating when you were reading it? You, I wasn't reading it in the... Con did, right? I wasn't reading it in the... When I read it, I wasn't reading it in the context that I want to do this play. Right. I was reading this and going, I want to read something... Uh, of this individual's work uh -huh. that I've seen at the studio. Uh -huh. And I worked on a, a reading of his, so I know his work is good, uh -huh. called Valentino's Wing. Mm -hmm. Great uh, play, another great play. A great play that yeah. I, uh, Ellen Burstyn directed a reading yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. And um, I got to share the stage with uh, Chaz Palminteri, mm -hmm. uh, Dina Tyler, Chris Stack. Mm -hmm. uh, That's a great cast. It, and, and you know, it was a small part in it, and it was good. And I knew his work was good, so I said, let me read this, let me see what it's about. Mm -hmm. I always want to read plays. I mean, an actor should be reading a play all the time, I think, if he wants to be a really good actor. Yeah. That's our inspiration. We can't do anything without the words. So I didn't have any pressure reading it for the first time. I just read it on the context of, and then I started reading it, and I said, oh, I like, I love when these characters that are, uh, archetype, Hitler, evil, whatever, uh -huh. the, the, the evil character, but they're human. Mm -hmm. sure. They still have love. Right. They still have uh, uh, hurt. They still want, they still need, they, all, the, all the things that you go through as a human being don't, don't stop just because you kill people. Mm -hmm. They don't stop just because uh, you're a rape, whatever you are. Mm -hmm. And I learned that from my first acting teacher, Barbara Poitier. Uh, rest, when in I, rest in peace, another great legend, you know, to me, is that she taught me not to judge the characters. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Time. You can't judge the characters if yeah. you wanna if you wanna <clears throat> really embody them, mm -hmm. because we all run around with a Hitler in us, and at the end we all run around with a Jesus in us. Those archetypes, I mean. Yes. So, they're full people, and I ramble a lot, so I'm talking too much. But well, you know, talking, talking about it, it's just great. That's yeah, that's, that's so that's what that's I right. that's what I mean. That's right. that's what I that's when I when I read, where I want to play everyone. I mean, I want to play everyone. It's not really what the character does, the occupation or anything. Right. I want to play characters that are written by writers like right. Mark Bukowski, who are real human beings, and I want to mm. tell their story. Especially if their story is not usually told in a human way. Okay. I don't want to give a caricature. I want to give, a, I want to, I want to give my life experiences. Mm -hmm. I want to give uh, universal inspiration. Mm -hmm. I want to put all that into this character. And hopefully I can and, I, and I'm doing it and we'll see what happens. And I want to work with people You're who work that way and he works that way too. Yeah. Scott, tell me, what was your impression when you wrote the play? I, uh, <clears throat> just thumbed up, it was really great. Yeah. Answer, yeah. by the way, oh, brother. No, you. that was beautiful, and I think I felt the same way. The first thing that, that jumped out out at me, uh, I mean, certainly, uh, you know, we're, we're the characters. Uh, you know, for me, it's always, and I knew who I was going to be playing at this point because Ali had approached me and said, "Take a look at, you know, take a look at Casimir." Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, you know, immediately their relationship, and you'll see at the play, just you know, you, they literally they enter the apartment, they jump right in, they're in full relation. They haven't seen each other in a while. But the relation, obviously, everything is right there. They're not seeing each other for the, you know, they've known each other forever. And, uh, yeah, I thought the characters jumped off the page. You know, the conflict is there immediately. Yeah. It's beautiful. And it's funny. And, the, the, of course, Mark's dialogue, uh, his, you know, it's that thing, too. It's just like a piece of music. It's beautiful. I'm a musician as well. It, you know, all that stuff starts to, like, you can, you can feel the pace. You can feel what's happening. It's, it's really rich. It's funny. Uh, um, it's edgy. I love all that kind of yeah. stuff. And, it, and like Ali said, it's also, it's real. Like underneath all that, what I loved is that immediately within a, you know, a page, you see two cousins struggling over family issues. This is ultimately what it is. They're, they're just doing that thing, right? They're, trying, they're having trouble getting to the truth. Mm. And that's a great, 
conflicts to have outside of the story conflicts and the things that, that are already there. Right. These are just two guys that are just, you know, you can see they love each other and, and uh, they need each other. And that to me is a great, is, a, is like True West or anything. It's a great set, set up, like you're immediately in. You're just in, I'm on that ride. That just really, you know, all of it really spoke to me just in a few pages. Um, you know, what I did find daunting again was the idea that it was, you know, it was a two-hander. And again, I haven't done any, a oh. two-hander this long. And Ali, you'll see in the sh with the show too, I mean, Ali's got these beautiful, you know, these pieces of music, these monologues, you know, that are just, uh, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot to, it's a lot to bank. Um, uh, but because Mark's writing is just so damn good, though, too, it's the like timing, yeah. timing is impeccable. All that stuff, right? Pace, like Pace rhythm. rhythm oh uh, you know, and What's this is. What's the biggest challenge you think, guys? Uh, technically, I, or, or, or artistically, or both? Well, I mean, for me, I would say I would say where the enjoyment of you know us building the story and the details and the relationship yeah. and all that is the. Is so I I love all that stuff and I could do that for days and days and days and days and days. I think the challenge is lines. I think the challenge for me is just is, is getting the lines again encoded into your bones like that so that you can free yourself as an actor. We were talking about this, right? To yeah. be able to just show up at rehearsal and go, okay, I got all that inside me. Now let's let's play so that we're not you know in there searching, yeah. searching, searching, searching for the next line, the next line. Because like you said, especially with Mark's writing and that timing, you know. Yeah. Is that? Uh, right, right, right. Uh, right, right. And if that's there. He never drops the ball one second. He never drops the ball. When you read Mark's play, it's like they have a rhythm. It's Real tricky. hardcore rhythm, right? But it's tricky. It, it yeah. is or he uses his, when there is a pause, he uses it. It's, a, it's there, yeah. for, you know. Right. It hasn't, yeah, there's something happening. Yeah, and I think that that, that, was, that would be my challenge. I think would just be getting the lines down. Um, right? What about you, Ali? You're in the heavy thought right that, now. That, that, I mean. That's. Yeah. My man is not lying over here. He's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> um, that. Uh, you guys brief? The ACs are like killing yourself? <sighs> no, no, no. It's good. Yeah. No, I'm oh, good. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. It's beautiful here. Thank yeah, you for yeah, having us here. Oh, yeah. We should say that. Thank you. Oh, for yeah. Absolutely. This we is have great. To bring this no, on. this is great. This is great. This, this is, is inspirational, what, too. This is what we have to listen and bring to the audience, to people everywhere. I think this is very yeah. beneficial, um, more, than I, more than we'll know now. I, I mean, I feel really strongly about doing this. Yes. Um, it's a wonderful play. It's a wonderful you know, play. It's a wonderful, yeah. wonderful play that should be taken, I mean, it should be done in Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, as a film? Oh, I think so, too. It'd be a great yeah, movie. I, yeah. It'd be a great movie. I think... Yes. And I was reading it right. last night, the second time, it said, yeah. this is a structural movie. Yeah. yeah, no, and there was a, yeah. a critic who said that back in 2000. I think as far as this being, what, what's the challenge of this play doing yes. this? I think um, the technical stuff he said about learning the lines, mm -hmm. that's a given. Mm -hmm. um, I think also it's a fucking, can I curse on this show? You can curse as much as you want. All right, I've been cursing well, a lot I'm already. Okay, now you open that window. I mean, if you want to. So. We can listen, right? I'm trying to interrupt him. I want to make sure that we're good. How about the sound? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't fuck this up, man. You don't want to make this... <laughs> no, Mike is a pro. No, I'm just Mike joking. Mike is a pro. The one that is not a pro is me. I keep interrupting. I'm sorry. I got to cut this off in the end. <laughs> How long we have? We have 20 minutes? 20, 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Oh, look at this. Time flies. Oh, you time see? flies. Wow. When you're having fun, right. I told we'll, you. We'll give you some better we'll session. Tighter better session, sound bites. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, why is it challenging? And, and after that, mm. think about that and give me... What makes Mark Rukowski mm. the writer that he is, mm. in your opinion? What makes him what the writer that he is? Him, what makes him the player that he is? The kind All of right. player he is. I, I, just, to, just to give voice to what, what makes this a challenge, because this is very important, I mm. think. Yes. What makes this a challenge, this play, is that it is... What is that sport where you swim and you triathlon? Yeah. Maybe you do... When you do different like diff several different things, like an Iron Man yeah, challenge. Like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you need the stamina. Yeah, right. And you're not walking in there like off the street. It's kind of like boxing. Yeah. Where you, yeah. You, you stay in shape all the time as an actor. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if, you're, if you're doing this and you're serious about your work, which mm -hmm. I think I am and I, I know he is. Mm -hmm. uh, but you got you to gotta train for a fight. And it's like in the beginning, you know how to do three rounds of this fight. Then you know you're going to do six. That's then right. eventually... Like we're ten. we're like at ten right now, uh -huh. or we're like at nine. By the end of this week, we'll be at we'll know how to we'll have the stamina. Uh -huh. This is about stamina, uh -huh. like Gabe Fazio it's always true. tells me. You need the stamina. Uh -huh. The Aronoff talks about that too. Yeah, yeah. we build we're building the stamina. Yeah, uh -huh. 
And once you get the stamina, yeah. So like yeah. we walk around, we're reading these things, we're working on it, we're building it. It's like it's going for a run. Yes. It's a marathon. You're, you're it's a marathon. Your, you're That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. In the summertime, when you get 95 degrees, yeah. 100 degrees, right? Up, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When you start sweating, you are right for the first, I don't know, two blocks, three blocks, and you know the heat is on, <sighs> and you're breathing. Every time you're breathing, you can feel the steam out of your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. It's very, very, yeah. very intense. It's taxing. It's, it's a taxing play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and yep. what makes Mark such a great writer is that... It like captures these guys. Uh -huh. or, I mean, specifically Salvi though. He captures this guy who's a mafia hitman. I mean, he's not a good guy. I mean, he's, he, some things about him that are evil, right? But he captures him in a way that he's, oh, it's beautiful he's story. real. Yeah. He really cares about his family. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he has a, that, like the relationship with dog or whatever I don't know if I'm giving up to but like that kind of stuff he's real uh -huh. you know he loves his cousin I mean every it. story needs in my opinion needs love right 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 needs that love right whatever it is brotherly love cousin bro whatever uh, it needs love and it needs a conflict right. and yeah. a conflict that can transcend the specific situation that's happening in the play. And I believe the conflict that's happening in this play transcends keep transcends that. Two minutes to wrap it up, Scott. Yeah. Then we keep going. But, but the challenge of Mark? Or, or sorry, what makes Mark... Um, um, Mark's the, uh, yeah. You know, <clears throat> I think that, and, and even in this, you know, here we are in, the, in week four. four yeah, I, I wish think we had like ten more weeks. Ten more weeks. Uh, <laughs> always the case though, right? Never enough time. Um, is that I feel like, you know, it's, it, the, uh, I, I think the beauty of his work, if I'll just say this to me, yeah. is that, is that even, even just within, you know, a small, we're just still unearthing all this great, all this great stuff mm. in this, in this banter that's going between these, look, you've got two guys on stage for a two act play, you know, that are enclosed in this one space, you know, like True West, you know, that kind of thing. It's like, it takes a great talent, I think, to carry us that long yeah. and that far and to make an audience yeah, sit there yeah, and go yeah. on this ride. Oh, no, no doubt. You know, uh, where it comes from with Mark, uh, I guess that was part of your question too. Yeah. I think he's a brilliant guy. I think he's, to me, I, you know, when I first met him, I saw him act as well. You can see that he works at a really creatively heightened level that we like to work at. Yeah. He's, a, a, again, a br really brilliant guy. Uh, and you can tell that this stuff is coming from his soul. There's right. a lot of stuff here that, you know, and we've been asking him questions about him and his life too. And it, it, you know, as writers do, like he's implementing the script with all these. Yes, I was wondering how much of Mark. Truth, all he's, these truths about. He's it. in tune. Yeah. yeah. That's the, for lack of a better. I think that's the best way you can describe him. Yeah. In his work, his writing. He's in tune. He's in tune with what's happening around him, mm -hmm. and, and 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 like with society and with these kind of characters, he's in tune with it and he's giving voice to it in these plays. Yeah. Is that over that, that you know what I mean? I think it's great. Yeah. I mean, look, it's a guy, you know, it's a, it's a it's a play that's that's about a, you know, a mobster and his cousin trying to sort things out. Right. And I mean, while you know, the, I just think that even even in that context, what he's done is something really wholly original. Mm -hmm. I think you would agree with that. You've read it. Yeah. So it's like, right? I mean, that's the beauty of a great writer as well, is that he can bring uh, two characters like that together and make something wholly original and funny and beautiful and touching and gritty and you know, yeah. When you first, when I first read the play, I didn't. The first couple of pages, you were saying before, what I was like, okay, this is a good play. Mm -hmm. These are mm -hmm. good guys, and then, and then, even when I read the whole play, I was like, this is a good play. Mm -hmm. And yeah. now that I started working on it, oh, I'd man. look at, I'd look at. We'd stop in the middle of rehearsal, and I'd look at, I'd look at Kazmir, yeah. and I'd go, yo, mm -hmm. this is a great fucking play we're working on, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I, I would like run over these parts and go, oh, this is just like throwaway lines or whatever for lack of you know yeah and then now i go back and I go no this is there's like golden nuggets placed everywhere in all 70 pages and they're like they hit you they hit the they hit the hot chords right yeah. yes they hit the they and the conflict is so helpful oh it is it really mm. really is you know in every page you yeah. read every page yeah and you kind of wonder can't help to wonder what do they do when they are not speaking. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely, yeah. 
What are they doing? That, that was my lingering question when I was reading it. Yes. Because the dialogue is so up. Oh, it feels so, like the play's in a topspin right. from the moment it starts. Right. Really, right? right? It rarely stops. Right. Exactly. Right? We're just you're just in. But yeah, when yeah. they're not, when they're not talking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do they do? I mean, it's like you kind of wonder about the demeanor, behavior, actions, and you know, when you know each other, when you know it's a relative, it's your cousin. They know each other for yeah. a long time. Yeah. You know, certain ways of behavior. What do they do when they eat? When they drink? How? How, what do they do when they're not? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it, it's a lot. I mean, it gives you a lot. And obviously, I mean, you guys are doing the work and living the process. Yeah, we are. And there's been, uh, we should mention as well that there have been uh, several other incarnations of this play, right? Since yeah. Two, yeah. Since 2000 and. Yeah. <coughs> 2000? I've seen it with Robert Mogley. Oh, you did? Yeah, okay. Oh, you did see it? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. With Robert and the other guy. Sal and Zerillo. Oh, yeah, he's a Which I love, yeah. by the way. Yeah, he's one of my boys. Uh, every, every actor he's cool. in the studio. He's cool. <laughs> he's cool. Uh, I'm sorry, but you know how many boys, you know yeah. how many men I have, Ali? Come on. Yeah, yeah. A lot of men. Yes or no? I don't, don't I don't, I don't, I don't, really I don't, I'm not a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of boys, because I'm a big fan of all these great actors. But yeah, I seen it a few years ago. You saw, yeah, and, right? Yeah, but kind of like. You know, I said to Mark, Mark, I was asking him, Cece, I think you saw the play. You sure? Cause I, I, I know your work. And now you went to, you came over and you saw the play. Said, yeah, it's a great play. It's a great and play. And I'm thrilled to see what you guys are bringing to the table because you guys are the characters. You know, I think it's very important what you said before, not to go to go back to it. What, what, what is the character, what are the characters doing when they're not speaking? Mm -hmm. I think that transcends just this play. Not to give a fucking acting lesson here. Yes. But... What are you doing as an actor when you're not speaking? It's like what you're doing as a human being in life when you're not speaking. Are you really listening to people? Mm -hmm. Are you, you know, what are you doing? What mm -hmm. is this character doing? So then you gotta, I think it starts with listening first of all to the, yeah. other, the other artist. And then also, maybe I am having a moment when I'm not listening as Salvi or whatever, you know, but I think it starts with listening to the other, to the, always. Yeah, sure. It starts with listening, and then you can play it anyway, whatever comes, you know, and then you work on intentions and all that stuff. We're going to go much deeper now, because now we have more time to go deeper. Forget about me. I, I don't matter. You matter. Uh, no, I oh, you matter. matter. Stop messing no, around. No, I'm love. not messing. I'm dead serious, guys. Yeah. Getting as private as you can. How does it work? You guys are into the water, you're jumping. Jumping, you're kind of jumping, you're jumping in, you're living the process, right? You're taking yeah. the experience to the next level. You're going outside, you're doing this, you're doing that. Achieving the privacy, private, the privacy taking place. Mm. How do you achieve that? The privacy? The privacy, the sense of privacy. That I'm sitting in a private space with yes. him? I think. You, the way you do that... I know it's a, it's a tricky question, mm. it's not, but, you know, it's a very important factor to me when I go and I see a play, whether it's a two characters or three characters, to sense the sense of privacy, to sense that this play... Or that what's not, happening in front of you... Not, what's happening in front of you is it's private. The, like what right. we were saying about Brando before. Yeah. Like the lines... The line that never been set before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The way that, the way that to capture the... just the, 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 the thought before yeah. you deliver a line. Yep. Sometimes you have a heavy thought, sometimes maybe you don't, maybe you are in an emotional state. Yeah. But how the lines are coming across and the, the, the intimacy, the sense of yeah. yep. privacy. Yep. These are two men who know each other. Yeah. You mm. know, do they have silence? Or do they have, do they, you know what I'm saying? How yeah. do you achieve that? How does it work for you guys? That's the million dollar question for any actor, right? I mean, if you're, if you're really living in the, the, moment. the moment. Yeah, that's the key. Right, I mean, and it sounds like a very, like, fairy tale, living in the moment. Like, what is that? Yeah. So, you, you, you live in the moment. Uh -huh. You know that, you know your, your lines and everything so that you can really live in the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you really look at the person across from you. Even if you 
if the scene doesn't call for you to look at them, you're like you're in tune with them. Mm. And that comes from rehearsing it and doing the extra work. That comes from going to Hoboken. Mm. That comes from meeting in the gay parade. Mm. That comes from all that stuff. Mm. That comes from staying over uh, <laughs> almost like lovebirds. <laughs> staying over. No, he, he's, he's, getting, he's blushing. I'm blushing. No, no, I enjoyed it. No, no, no. no. So I'm, I'm just joking. But no, it comes. It, it, it comes from sitting. It comes from sitting, spending time with the one another. Yes, of course. Of when course. we spend time, and then it comes from the level of work that 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 you learn from your from your mentors. Right. From like Elizabeth Kemp. Yeah. Oh, from doing from God rest her soul, another late great uh, one. It comes from doing you know like the the dream workshops that I I've done where, you know, you do like. Three or three of those. Each one is like a, a a master's degree in acting, I think. And you do that level of work where you really commit. You put that thousand percent in the thing. Mm -hmm. You do it. Like this yeah. should be the this. Listen, if <clears throat> acting. If I only want to work with people, and I, I'm re repeating words that I've heard from Elizabeth, that she heard from Elie Kazan. Mm -hmm. I only want to work with people that are putting a thousand percent in this, mm -hmm. because. If you put a thousand percent in this, you got a chance to succeed. Mm -hmm. If you don't put a thousand percent in this, and you still might fail. Mm -hmm. If you don't put a thousand percent into this, mm -hmm. you will fail, my friend. You will fail. Mm -hmm. And we put putting in a thousand percent, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to toot the horn. We're, we're still putting in it. Right. We're still in it right now. I mean, we're working. Oh, yeah. We're working. We're working. working we're working. Yeah. This is not like, this doesn't turn off. I, we eat, sleep, and drink in this thing. Let me ask you something. Yes. The, 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 I'm not here to be able to, to, to trust the rehearsal, but uh, there's a moment in the play, do you think, that he is afraid for his own, own life? Mm. Oh, yeah. Casimir is. Yeah. yeah. You know, he knows his cousin. He loves his cousin in his own way. They love each other in their mm. own way. They communicate. But the, do you think there's a moment in the play that His own life. You know, he's a bit, I mean, bottom line here, cutting the bullshit. Yeah. He's hardly conversational with a man who killed. It's his cousin who loves him, but Why? it's the reality of it is, is that this, the, the, the reality of that moment is that he could kill me. Right. That, like, there's, that there's a moment that happens between them where that is, that is a, it's passed between them in a way that, that it's a consideration. Yes. <laughs> it's something where, yeah, Casimir definitely goes, uh -huh. I think, you know, I think you're capable of anything. Mm. He says, you really think I could do that? He says, I, th I think you're capable of anything. And I think at that point, that's the point that they've reached for sure. That, right. Right. Because, I mean, they end up on unearthing, as you know, we, we can't give anything away here, but yeah. so much of their, to me, it's a play about two guys working through their family problems. That's what I think the play yeah. is essentially about, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of it for me. That's the that's the that's the you know that's the heart of the, the play for me. And the as you know, they unearth so much at that point. Yeah. You know that 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 it's raw. It's pretty raw by that point, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then, like you said, there's there's this thing that happens between them where all of a sudden, I think, for the first time in his life, Casimir goes, "Yeah, you could fuck. You could you could do this, right? Right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. We don't. Yeah." We're, uh, it's it's like you hear stories about someone, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Okay. No, I'm sorry. It's hold your mic. So I'm you hear? Happy to hold your mic. <laughs> your soul. I mean, we want your soul. You're gonna right? give up too much away. What we were doing? What we were doing? What we were doing? What we were doing? We slept over. So no, I um. <laughs> no, what we thing is, when you meet someone, right? Yeah. Or you know someone your whole life. Right. Your cousin, for right. instance, like we do. And then you hear stories about this cousin of yours uh -huh. who does these things. Right. But they're not kosher things. Uh -huh. They're not halal things. They're, <laughs> they're things that are not... Criminal? Are criminal. <laughs> so you don't ask that person. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then that kind of thing gets brought to you on a platter. Like, here, this is what is happening. Yeah. And, the, and then you, you know now. Now you have concrete, tangible evidence that this individual is a murderer. Right. And we can give that away. Yes. That 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 happens. That's found. Like right. there's evidence of that. 
just from the words that he's talking about. And he's starting to believe it. Mm. Once you find that out, the play is not the same. The play's not the same. Moment, yeah. When he comes in, he got back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Don't give away too many secrets I'm to not, see. I'm not. But you so, know what? So, I'm going to edit that. Don't worry. Gonna but what you brought yeah, yeah, up yeah. is really, really good because. But, but that, 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 once the evidence is there, yeah. that, the so tangible. Funny. that yeah. Like, okay, I could say right now that I'm. Uh, I could jump 10 feet in the air. I could just say that, right? Yeah, go ahead. But it doesn't mean nothing. Right. I mean, it, you might believe me. I might be so convincing that I tell you, hey, I jumped 10 feet in the air. But until I show you, hey, look at me, I'm 10 feet in the air, you, you're not going to know it's true. So there's got to be a moment, like, he finds out. Sense of danger? The danger is there. The sense of the danger. danger. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you know someone some, this way. I know my cousin a certain way. And, and, and I think what part of this play is about, which, which is easy to talk about, is the fact that I've never seen that killer. Mm -hmm. I've just either, you know, come right. up with my own ideas of what's happening. I've heard certain stories. Right. But I don't know specifically what it is that he does. Uh -huh. And that there's a moment in the play where you go, are we, am I actually seeing the killer now? Yeah. Is this actually, who's standing in front of me? This is, this is what you're talking about, this moment yeah. where it's all moment of a sudden. When, when, he, when he knows, and he, he, it's... Everything is stopped. It's like, I don't know, when you, when, I don't know, comes in life and you yeah. have moments that you just find out something really terrible yeah. happened. And time literally stops. Yep. <sighs> yep. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, I, I don't know, finding out if my father died. Or, mm -hmm. God know, rest his soul. The, the moment that, yeah, that you, you feel that you're literally, everything stops. Like you're facing the unknown. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you are yeah. facing the unknown. Yeah, yeah. You don't know what's going to happen. You know, it's a pretty scary thing. You know, it's, it's got to be... This is a play that really takes your breath away, guys. That's like the thing, it right? It takes your breath away. The thing is... Um, the unclear or not? Yeah, no, oh, very yeah, clear. Yeah, yeah. I think the thing is also, it's like... He might... I mean, cat, cat, like they, you know someone's violent. Yeah. You grow up with a person, you've seen them beat people up or get beat up or get in fights, brawls. Right. You know they're violent. Right. But there's this thing, there's this like ancient thing about human beings uh -huh. and this visceral thing. It's not so, a that we've been doing throughout history, we're still doing it now, right. is that we are capable of that level of violence that ultimately ends someone's life. And to be able to, mm. or to try to capture that is difficult as an artist. And then, but even just the human stuff, just like, just take these guys out, like they're real, I mean, they're real people. Yeah. But to, if you, are you, even if you know your brother or your father or, or any, or your mother or anyone has that capacity, mm. that level, the capacity of violence in order to, to destroy, to end a creature's life, mm. let alone another human being's life right. is, a, is a wild thing. But it's a wild be, thing. But to be able to find the humanity in somebody who yeah. kills, yeah. it's not an easy thing. No. But like my father used to say, he said always something to me that was very interesting. He said, you have to remember that every character that you read, that you play, you play a movie, a story, Think about one single thing. Every single character was a child. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all of us who come from childhood. Um, and when, when he gave me that on the phone, it was kind of like it opened a door to me. So I said, wait a minute. He's right. Yeah. Right? I mean, and to even see these men, I mean, you know, the stuff that he says, but it's one thing is what we say. Am I right, Mike? Are you listening? Because I know you're fucking listening. <laughs> it's one thing what we say when we're saying things, so we're on and we're saying things. But one thing is what we're thinking, what we're saying. You know what I'm saying? That I can talk to you right now, but sound, I want to make clear that we get this done right and we don't have the AC in the background. But wait a second, in the back of my head, I'm thinking about the play. I'm thinking about what pisses me off. I'm thinking about why I'm so upset. I mean, what we say is not necessarily what we're feeling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's the, uh, human beings were complicated creatures. Yeah. 
but it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of things are happening yeah. underneath. Not necessarily we have to be with the intention. Yeah. Would you agree? Absolutely. I agree. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, to go back to... That's what we do. It's a, it's, a, it's a coping mechanism, I think, that human beings, we do. Sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is, and it works, governments do this, and people do this, and uh -huh. we like to blanket things, uh -huh. I mean, like blanket statements. Uh -huh. But literally, it's like throwing a blanket on something, because we go, okay, th this whole group of people, mm -hmm. they're animals, they're not like us, they're monsters. Mm -hmm. The Soviet Union, so monsters. It's so it's the judge. Well, it's it's easy. Judge. We're not like them, that's it. Right. Yeah. We like to take responsibility for only the beautiful things mm -hmm. about humanity. And, and we think that any part of it that's ugly can't have anything beautiful within it. Mm. And that's not the case. I mean, at least I don't believe that's the case. That's not my reality that I live in. Mm. So these, this character, just because he has a very ugly thing about him, which is killing mm -hmm. doesn't mean that he's a completely ugly human being mm -hmm. and I'm not talking Nobody about should be dismissed and right? that's what we do we do that to look at all the people we do that to in prison in America I mean in the whole world yeah. but specifically yeah. here I can only speak for here because I'm American yeah. is that look we, we put all these people in prison and then you go oh they're in prison because they're bad yeah, no, life they're bad. bad that's life it they're bad. done they should stay there like throw away like yeah. like they're not people Right. They're mm. monsters. Mm. We dismiss. Yeah. Yeah. Judge. Dismiss and judge. Uh -huh. And I think when you work on characters like these, mm. that I like to, I think I have a big responsibility as an artist mm -hmm. to showcase this, this, this character, this character's soul, to show him, to show the their light and their darkness. Right. You know, right. to show both of those things. They have both. Right. They're full human. Mm. I mean, any human being, no matter how terrible they are or were, is still a human being, like your father said. Yeah, every, every single character that you read on the play, on the, on the story, on the novel, their voice was a child. Was a child who cried when it wanted who milk, cried. or laughed when it saw its mother or father. Yeah. Like, so it, it, that's the way you bring humanity. Well, try to explain to me how do you know how you bring humanity uh, to characters because we see in a certain way one thing when you read the character you read the play then you yeah. digest it you think about it you, you you follow the process the mental process then you get into rehearsals and you discover more about the characters but then you start seeing things that you didn't think you know by surprise i don't know the characters they can hit you in the face but you can realize you can learn something about the characters oh wait a minute I didn't have this impression when I wrote the, the, the play the first time. And now I see the character under, under mm. a very different light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we find that stuff out all the time in rehearsal. Yeah. yeah. We you, look are at you guys writing what you're finding out? Are you guys keeping track of uh, notes? Notes? Oh, we no, take no, notes, but it's more in terms. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have yeah, to yeah, take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yes, we, we, part, of the, yeah. part of the. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You do, please. No, no, go What's ahead. that? What's that? I was, I'm, I'm walking. Oh, he's just agreeing with you, yeah. Yeah. We're keeping a record. Yeah, we're, we're cooking. cooking. No, go you ahead, man. Yeah, we're, we're, cooking we're cooking along. Oh, it's good. good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's interesting. Can I, I'll bring up a quick story, if it's cool, just to stay no, on please. track of yeah, this yeah, thing. Yeah, that yeah. In studio, I think you were there. You were there for us. Uh, there was um, Ellen Burstyn was moderating a session at the Actors Studio and, mm. um, and, and was talking about uh, her part in uh, Flowers in the Attic. And when she had to, I think it was, I think that's what it was. I hope I get this story right. I'm not good with names of things and people. Anyway, she had to play, uh, <clears throat> you know, this abusive grandmother to her children, her grandchildren, and she had to. Oh yeah. She had to sort of, d you know, figure out what is the what is behind all. Like, what would make you know? Because for her, for herself, right, as a compassionate, you know, she had to figure out what's what's the what's the makeup of a person like that. What does that? And she ended up dr through just her own research drawing a line to to narcissism. And she started there, you know, and started building it just from that. Narcissism. I think, um, why am I even telling that story? I'm telling that story because uh, we were on the track of judging characters. That's what yeah. it was. Judging characters, uh, um, um, you know, when we have to play those roles that, you know, like Salvi, where 
you know, what's, yeah, what is, where's the humanity, like, who is he, he was a child, there's all these things about it, right, you know. Um, another thing that I'm realizing, too, as we're talking about all this stuff is, this plays and is very much about, and in, in this, this, with this sort of familial um, thing at its core, you know, where these two guys trying to, you know, get their, work out their family shit, um, is this idea of truth. They're both pursuing a truth in each other and about themselves that they're trying to deal with. They're both being faced with their own mortality, both of them in their own way. They're, they're, so there's this beautiful thing that's happening all the time where they're, they're just, you know, they're wanting an answer or something from each other, but in regards to, I think, this idea of truth and the truth between them. What is the truth about Salvi? Mm. I've heard all these things, but what, you know what I mean? Right. Salvi, what is the truth, you know? Mm. I want to know what it is that you are, you're about. Saying, because it was like, I had a Russian teacher, a Chekhov, when I said a Chekhov, she was crazy, but she was great. Yeah. She said that, you know, the, the, who pretty much attention was a cat, forget about me, get me out of the camera. <laughs> Mike, I'm directing my own show, cut me some slack. She said, don't worry about so much about what the character is saying. Right. Just concentrate your attention on what the character is playing. Mm. Mm. Interesting, yeah. Right. You know, that was like the. And I right. studied Chekhov for two years with this lady. And she was nuts. I mean, rest in peace. We're all going to die. But like I said, she was crazy. Okay? But she was very <laughs> interesting. You know, she said, don't, don't, don't. No, no, forget about what the characters say. We already know what the characters say. I have the lines right here. Mm. I have them. Look, I can read them. I, can, I have the words. You have the words. Concentrate your attention with the character is hiding. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah. That's when you're going to find that. And both know, of these guys are. Yeah, both of them in their own way. Oh, yeah. Are. No, yeah. And that's the that's part of the thing. And it's great because what you're watching are these guys trying to, you know, grab that veil and yank it off each other at times. Yeah. You know, what is the truth in this situation? And right. what is the deal? And he's doing it with me as well. Yeah. It's, um, it's a beautiful... It's a beautiful. It's a. It's a beautiful thing that is also inherent just in family life. I mean, that's. We were just talking about that the other day too. Yeah. You know that. Uh, that uh, the idea of truth, you know, is uh, is at the center of this as well. I guess that's my point. Um, because there's some pretty ugly truths that come out of this thing. But they're real. They're, they're real. The, it's true. The truth. But you know. You the truth is. An, it, do you feel drained, exhausted. I think we're always just exhausted and then invigorated and then exhausted and then right. invigorated and then it's a it's good like, exhaust. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's like a good exhausted. It's yeah. yeah, but it's intense. Yeah, for sure. It never stops, and then and then what happens is, you feel like you have no more energy, and then that's where the gold is. Like at the end of that line where you feel like you have no more to give, it's like, no, 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 motherfucker, get out of my way. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just like uh, okay, I can't do it no more. Yeah. And then you go, I can't do it no more. And then all of a sudden, boom! It hits you. It hits you. That, as soon as you like about to give up or just give up, mm -hmm. then you get like an inspiration. And then you look at your uh, you look at your scene partner, you look at this person you're going to war with, mm -hmm. and then you go, okay, that's it. That's it. Look, let's let's work on that again. Let's go. Let's go. And you do it, and then. And do it again. And that's really key what he's pointing out too, and we should mention that, that a lot of it too is, and I think as, as just a healthy way of working, right. is we're constantly checking in with each other. Oh, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. listen, we have our moments, right? Because for whatever reason, we're cracking ourselves open, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, <laughs> it can be pretty frustrating at times, yeah. or it may look like we're getting frustrated with each other. But yeah. what we do is we come Don't back into it, right? Don't make me angry. Right? But it's like. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey man, sometimes no. I don't know, no. you know. But what we do is immediately check in with each other. It's good, and I think that's a good, sign no, of a good yeah, working relationship. Yeah. You good? You good? Yeah, good. No. Okay. Are you good? No. Yeah. <laughs> what do you need? What do you need? You know. Yeah, and then uh, it's just like one second here and there, boom, boom. You know. You would just like you become. Hopefully, you're opening up and you roar, right? Right. And then when you roar, you're gonna be. You're gonna you're gonna experience all that stuff, and then you're gonna be able to to build from there. You gotta have raw material to build. Yeah. And then you get the raw material, and you yeah. build. Yeah. And then sometimes you feel like shit. This is so technical. We're doing all this technical thing. Huh. Like blah 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 blah. We gotta do this production thing. You do all that stuff, and then if it's only the acting stuff, and you're raw, and you're and you and, and you're frustrated as an actor, that's one thing. Now what happens when you get home? You send text to Mark. Said Mark. 
Oh yeah. I don't know, man. man. You sure you want uh, us to do this fucking piece? Yeah. <laughs> you might want to fire us. Are you? I don't know, man. Uh, oh, I go. Uh, when you go That's home? a good question. I think it's a fair yeah. question. And he's been involved in this production. He's been there. He's been oh, there. He's the man. He's, he's the man. Us so fucking generous. Oh man. Given us great. all his time. He's been great. He, he, he checks up on us. Freedom. Do you have this freedom? Certain freedom it, that we have. We're part of the creative process. Part of the with creative him. process. Everything. Marcus. He's excited. He's really excited. It's yeah. Actors playing oh. his works, and it's an yeah. honor to have an artist's words that uh, he's working with him to play. To play, right? You know, I mean, it's a two-way street. Come on, how many days are you gonna be running the show? Well, how many days? Six so days. we got six days. Six it's okay. what is it? August. Oh, uh, we got um, 21st, 22nd, uh -huh. 28th, 30th, and then the third and the fifth. fifth. And we'll have like a link or something probably, right? Okay. Uh, we'll so what we'll about doing the display at the actor studio? Oh, we don't know about that. Don't Adam, know about that's that. that's beyond us. That's yeah, that is. That's uh, yeah. That's not. not, in not sure. We're not in the uh, decision making in the vat. Yeah. Especially not I. I'm, I'm especially. Not, yeah, we'll we'll see. I mean, if it works out, I'd be honored if they allowed Certainly. us to do such a thing. Mm -hmm. That would be in. It's an honor just to be in there. Marcus and one, I want to say something on the record. Marcus, one of the best playwrights in New York. One of the best playwrights at the actor studio and. He's a man that he should be everywhere. Oh, I like agree with yeah, we both I, agree I, agree I concur with, with that oh, statement. And I'm yeah. throwing this out there. Yeah. We're going to wait to see Mark's play at the studio. Yeah. That's something that nice. I, I, I'm Thank you. throwing out Thank you. That would be, yeah. because he's so talented. He's such amazing. a gifted writer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and an amazing actor. An he's a, amazing we're fans yeah, of his yeah, as an yeah, actor yeah. as well. I think he's you know, so it, it, amazing. Why does it take so long? So long? So long? To what? We die tomorrow. There's no tomorrow. You there's no right? tomorrow. Yeah. No, people go, oh, I'm gonna do it next week. I'm gonna do it next year. Yeah. There's not such a thing as tomorrow. It's it true. Doesn't exist. What we have is today. Is now. today. Yes. That's it. The yeah. moment. The moment. Yeah. Work your ass off in that moment. Work your ass and work your ass and work your. Ugh. Get the grits, get the, go home and take a shower. At least they'll take a shower. It's gonna be like, damn. Yeah. You told me. You asked me if I, if I, like, I'm, ti I'm tired or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get tired and then you come in here and then you meet someone like, like, sit, meet with someone like you, uh -huh. and all of a sudden, and Mike, and Mike, yeah. Mike's a little quieter. He's behind the camera. Uh -huh. But seriously, no, Mike. meeting with you and then doing this and being able to express the process and share that with you and then share that with your the, the audience you'll, you'll, you'll give it to. And, you know, I, I do feel invigorated right now. So I, feel, I. I feel like I want to go home right now and just, like... Run lines with your partner? Run lines with him or run lines with him on the way to the subway and, yeah. and, then, and, and then, like, go home and look at the things and certain moments that we found and... You Always know, acting is, is... David Mamet says something really beautiful. He says that acting... Is, is the art form that perhaps it looks the easiest, but is the most difficult to master. Oh my God! Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, and it's, it's very true because there's always a discovery, discovery, yeah. discovery, and it doesn't end. And sometimes we kind of wonder, okay, do we have the stamina? Do no. we have the energy? Do we have the body? Can we do this? The more you do it, the more you discover. Yeah. The more you do it, the more you like. Yeah. Joey says, when you're going through training, when you're fighting with great fighters, they're gonna. They're gonna bring the best in you. You know what I'm saying? There's no. Uh, Lars Olivia used to say that there's never a day in his life that he felt that he was perfect. Man, I mean. He was never. And he said it yeah, on yeah. the record. Yeah, right. There's never been a day in my life that I can say that I was perfect. Right. It was a moment when he did a play, Anthony Hopkins was in the play. And he was waiting in, in, the, in the wings. And Lawrence Olivia, he came out. And Anthony Hopkins looked at him. And he was in awe. He looked at him. And he said, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. And, and, and he looked at him, Olivia. He said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he said, do you, how, I mean, how are you feeling? I mean, this is, and he said, I, I'm, I'm sad because I know that I can never do this again. Right. The way I, what I just found on yeah. the stage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a moment that's never going to come back. That moment, yeah. it would never happen. Yeah, can't recreate it. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, 
This is a play that Mark is, the, in my opinion, the play is written the two men coming together, clashing yes. in an intense rhythm. Well, almost they seem like they have, it almost it seemed like, that was the impression when I got last night and I read it for the second time, that they are sharing the same heartbeat. Mm. These two guys. You know what I'm saying? They're so entwined with one another. It's interesting, but they're so different. They're so opposite. Mm -hmm. But they're so entwined. They're it seems that like they fucking share the same heart. Yeah. These two. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I think that's interesting. And, and, and the fire and the, 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 the psychology, the psych. You know, having a man in your house, in your place. You know, I'm not going to give it away. But moments that... You know, wait a minute, I'm, he's my cousin, but he's, what do you do? I mean, it's like, there's a lot of things happening here. They're not on the fucking page. A lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to overwhelm you guys. No, no like, I know. It like, seemed like, like we were. We uh, both just had that moment. We went, yeah. There's a lot. No, it's like a great. It's a lot of great reveals. You think, oh, this is the greatest reveal. Then, oh no, no, this is the greatest reveal. Okay, oh, no, this no, is the no, greatest. No, this is the great. Emotionally. This is a mo there's mo moments and moments that you know they, he comes and, and he has, you know, his cousin is yeah okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like everything changes. Oh you, yeah. You just start breathing differently. Yeah. You looked at him differently. I mean, yeah. from my perspective, I'm writing the play, but yeah. from my reading. Yeah. Is that, you know, and how you go back to normal, how do you find that level of trust? You know, when you when you have conversation with somebody, uh -huh. but then you have a conversation, you keep going, 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 but in certain moments, you know, you just find out something that you didn't know. So all of a sudden, the conversation is slightly different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It changes. There's a lot of that, the common denominator, the, the, you know, the... the Fire, mm. the, 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 well, what happens here? Now I have, okay, so maybe I looked at him a little differently. Or maybe I don't feel safe in my own fucking place. You know what I'm saying? There's mm -hmm. a sense of danger that I allow myself to be scared. No, I know, my God, he's my cousin, for Christ's sake. He's not going to kill me, but wait a minute. Do I know this man? No, I don't know. No, of course I've known him for 20 or 30 fucking years. Yeah. You see? Yeah. It's a whole, what my Russian teacher used to say, the thinking process. Yeah. Like great actors, I, I truly believe the great actors always allow, like, to give you an example, Meryl Streep. She's always cooking. Mm. You see her doing what she's doing, whatever she's doing. I don't care what she's doing. She's doing a comedy drama. She's always allowing the thinking process to come to the surface. Mm. And we. We see it. We sense it. As an audience, we see it. It's so powerful yeah. that it goes. It, that she's flying with two things. She's flying with the character, the, the character, and the, the, the behavior, obviously. Yeah. But the thinking process is right there. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? So, is the thinking process here? Yeah. I think is pretty amazing. You know, it it, it goes really fast. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah, yeah. and that's the challenge, in my opinion, after I read the play. But that's why it's so fascinating, and it's it's a great exercise Maybe. for actors to get your invigorating. Pause, man. Yeah. 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 What are you thinking, Ali? No, I just much? no, 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 no. You you you're the perfect amount. Oh. Don't ever say you too much. Um, the thing is, like you just reminded me. I think people's. That's a ghost. By the way. Hi, ghost. That's, you, see, you heard that? That's a ghost in the house. I don't want to scare you guys. But no, I'm not afraid of no ghost. You're not, okay. That's a little. <laughs> no, I'm, I am. <laughs> I'm scared. So the, the whole thing is, um, you, if you, if, I think if you work in a certain level, you want, I think I, I'd like, to, I like, to, I strive, I hope to get there always where I'm working at a level where it is hope, it's, you're working with material that, First of all, has the capacity to, to be it. to be endless. Uh -huh. It should be endless the work because it, I mean, if, if it should be like what I what we've read about the Moscow uh, theater, theater, where it's like these people working on a show for how many years? Forever. And, and forever. They, forever. Yeah. They, they they hopefully find the new things the all the time, the right? They take the beginning. My Russian teacher used to say, "Okay, let's concentrate on the beginning. How do how do we begin the play?" And we would spend weeks on my entrance. 
only my entry yeah, point. Right. Where are you from? What time is it? Is it hot? Is it cold? Summertime? Winter time? Okay, how? Like she would give a whole mm -hmm. breakdown of how, where are you coming from? Yeah, the moment when before. You come, sure. he, he, she said that yeah. the entrance yeah. of the, the, the character, the first moment, yeah. is extremely important. Mm -hmm. So where are you coming from? The yeah. attention, the objective, yeah. both characters in this case, where are they coming from, you know, from the beginning? You know, what happens next, you know, but it's like the beginning, the beginning is extremely... We have to, that's why we have to start each act, you know, because they're, they're just, you know, it's just one big scene, essentially, that you're watching. Yes. You know, Ollie and I um, yes. have a preparation. We, have a, we just have a thing that we do before we start rehearsing where we have to just go off on our own yeah. and find that, what you're talking about, yeah. before we start, we start together. Yes. Right? Yes. And we give ourselves that time in rehearsal to, uh, to do that. Yeah. You do. He's what not lying. <laughs> what do you think, Now, what I want to hear from that. you, we're talking. We're almost done. This yeah. is good stuff. Yeah. What are you thinking about right now? Bring it on. Don't blush. Why is everyone keeping so hot? The AC? If I turn the, the, the fan, no. forget it. No, no, we I good. Mean, no, don't turn the fan on. We good. I'm not. I always, I'm always hot. Am oh, I going to kill um, us if I pee? I'm going to pee my pants. Oh, you, Should you, I go? Do you go? Go. Yeah? Go. go. I'll, I'll jump back in. Jump in back in. I'll Let's jump with Ali for a moment. Let's bring it on, babe. We got uh, rid of my cousin. We get rid of your cousin. So this is, we talk a lot about the play. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's just always daunting, I think. You're working on something good, yeah. good writing. You don't, you want to give it. Go ahead, I'm listening. You want to give it. Everything you got. Everything you got, and you want to honor it, right? You want to honor the the blood, sweat, and tears that goes into the work, and then you want to give your blood, sweat, and tears into it. It's like... And, but you can't get caught up in the long the long uh, shot, right? You can't get caught up in what the result is going to be. And then, you can't, and then you can't get caught up in, why didn't I find that moment that I found today, yesterday? You know what I mean? Mm. We might find the moment right after we're done with the play like oh i could have tried that mm -hmm. i could have done that mm -hmm. i could do this mm -hmm. like just an organic moment that you find and hopefully you find those while you're working and you're working with somebody who's who's on that level where they're gonna play with that because mm -hmm. they're gonna find those moments while we're in the play and we go oh that's how many hours moment. you rehearsing a day like six hours a day seven hours a day and then oh, but it doesn't stop because you go after that and you Literally, like, if I, if you count the stuff, the homework we're doing at home and together. Come here, Scott. How many Jump hours you put in a day? All together, yeah, honestly. Hours. Each day? Yeah, like, are we doing 12 hours, 14, 7 hours? Like, what? what honestly. Scott, I, I haven't even clocked it. But, I mean, you know, look, it's, it's you know, the, the schedule um, can look anything like, you know, you get up. Uh, Six in the morning. Six in the morning. We crack our lines. We look at our lines individually, and then him and I are texting each other about various things. You know, then we get into rehearsal at ten. <laughs> then we're there for the day. Then we do lines after the rehearsal. After everybody leaves, him and I are banking up, right? Like then I said, then we <laughs> we separate at some point, go home, eat something. Usually we have fifteen minutes, and then we're back yeah. in, and we're skyping and doing lines. It's like what, like at least ten hours. It's all a day. day. It's all I mean, day, it's, man. Uh, it's an all day thing. You guys are living the process. One Loving it though. And loving it. Loving yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just a great opportunity to be alive to do that. I don't want to make you nervous. There's somebody what? else is here. Don't, let's keep, please. I'm, I'm not kidding. It's my husband. Ah, uh, okay. It's not a ghost. It's, it's not a ghost. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. I'm listening. We're almost done. Is he coming Seven in? Three. Okay. So basically, you live in the process every single day. Yeah. Well, I think, in, you know, I, and I think that if I could, I'll, I no, love my partner so much here, and I think that with, you know, I've met somebody, and one of the other things that intrigued me about doing this play was working with somebody like this who, oh, thank you. who uh, you know, is not only extremely talented, I saw that right away, you know that, uh, but also, you know, who wants to do the work, who's inspired, who wants a creatively heightened experience, and will do it at all costs, and you know Ali well enough, he will, you know, and I knew that, I knew that, well, the success, the, the success of, of us, you know, just making it to the stage and doing this play would be finding somebody who could work this much and this way and or these ways. You know what I mean? And we 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 both come, you know, from this, you know, uh, we met the, at the studio. And you guys um, hit it off right from the beginning. Uh, I don't know about that. No, it's not that no, we no, didn't no. hit it off. It just I took us a while. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Pause. Yeah, there was a little bit. Happened? It's always we fun. Talk I'm about not going to talk about it. You, we talk about it a lot. You talk about it. I think you know we had our we talk about it a lot that we were uncertain of each other, but not in a bad way. I think we just we just didn't find each other right away. Uh-huh. You know, it was sort of like we talk a little bit. This too. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, hey, good, good. And then we walk away. You know. Uh-huh. Oh, but you know what? The first it time, took a while. The first time we met. Uh-huh. Yeah. Was that the session? It was the beginning of the new season, 2017. And you, you got up that day. I got up that day, I think, for the first time. Yeah. Uh, my own. When did you become a finalist? I didn't know about you. I, I, I knew about it. Yeah. yeah. No, I became a finalist. Uh, I did a reading of Lyle Kester's play, which we're working on. And uh, I had that great opportunity to have been seen by uh, uh, Ellen... Um, First in, she saw me, and, and then I became a finalist off of the reading. Uh, yeah. She recognized me, and I, I really, I'm like, I was very <laughs> happy. I'm still very happy on that. Um, so that, when, when we got into the studio, and I saw Scott, and then I was like, uh, I think I had a big beard like this long, mm-hmm. and I had these long fingernails. Long I was working fingernails. on this homeless guy. Mm-hmm. So I wrote, I wrote a movie, uh, a short film about a homeless man. And I gained all this weight that I still haven't lost yet, because <laughs> I can't. It's so hard to lose it. It's easy to gain. Where the the and then I was just met him and he's like, oh, I, I'm a new finalist. And I was like, hey, how you doing? And then I was just talking to him about. I got really passionate about You're mine. Very intense that day. I remember that. I was yeah. yeah I was You're very really passionate about this because I was about to shoot in like a week. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was like the 17th of September or like 10th of September, uh-huh. and I shot the film in the 25th. Uh-huh. And I just started talking, and then I just like I was like, all right. And I walked away, yeah. and then I was like, I don't know about that guy. I don't know him. I don't know. He's all right. <laughs> and then I, we, he was taking Lyle Kester's class, and I was taking Lyle Kester's class. Yeah. Like, like six, seven, eight months later, we were cool. We were very cordial for all that time. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. We would say hey. And then this motherfucker. Uh-huh. Check this out, Mike. I see him in a scene doing uh, Hurley Burley, which I'm gonna play by the way one day. I'm gonna do Phil, and I want him to be Eddie. But that's another story. And I look at him, and he's playing Eddie. And I think my wife was visiting class that day. And I look at my wife, and I look at her, and I go, and I hit her like this. Like, maybe not that hard, because I'm more gentle with my wife. But I was like, hey. I was like, this motherfucker is good. This fucking asshole. This mother-. I was like, no, I was like, this motherfucker, like, like that, you know, is good. And she looked at me, she's like, well, why is he a motherfucker? And, like, and I was like, no, 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 that's a compliment. He's really good. So I go up to him afterwards, and I'm like, yo, you... I didn't know what the hell you were about. I'm sorry about, like, I, I don't know if how you felt about me before. I was like, I know you're a great fucking actor, mm-hmm. and I want to work with you. That's pretty much what I said. Yeah. I mean, that was it. not ver- maybe not exactly verbatim, but pretty much I said, I just went up to him, I was like, you're a great fucking actor. I want to work with you. We wanted to find something to do together. Let's do something one day, because you're great. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. uh, and then you this, know. This came out pretty quickly, I feel speaking like. Speaking about manifestation. Yeah. yeah. And then the, did Ooh. you have the, did you have the headhunter at that point? No. Oh, you didn't have it at that point. Then it came up. And Interesting. Then, okay. Or maybe I. Oh, maybe I did have that. it. Maybe I did have my headhunter, but I wasn't even thinking about him for that. And then, mm-hmm. you know, manifestation happens. You know, you do. You, beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Like that's that's when you believe in that there's magic in the yeah. world. Love the magic, the chemistry, the fire. You guys are insane. Thank you. Hopefully, you we could bring it to the. Well, the good oh, news is it, it worked. It it's worked. not like we got together and we were like a. No, no, no. We're just like going home. We're oh my. Uh, I'm gonna believe the secret. I'm just gonna yeah, believe yeah. good things are happening to me. Let me go sit in the corner now and. Joey says, that when you train and you train, you get into the moment, you train, you lose your way. Oh, forget about my voice. Can you hear me? Mike, you're Well, but uh, you know, you don't see me. I'm gonna cut this out anyway. I'm gonna edit it. Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna see myself. But what I'm saying is, he says that you're running, you're working, you're putting in sparring sessions, you're doing all the work. Yeah. Day after day, yeah. some days you love it, sometimes some days you hate it. That's what he says. Yes, sure. yes. Okay, but you go through the process. You go through the process. You spar. You give it up. You give it up. You go. You, you train. You run and you do it and you do it and you do it. At the end of the day, the day of the fight, you drop everything. And it's right in your subconscious. The work, everything you've done, is right there. It's in you. It's in That's your it. body. It's in your heart. It's in your soul. It's yeah. in your bones. You let it go. You just drop it. You gotta drop it. Yeah, yeah. You drop it. You let it go because you gotta trust it. Yeah, yeah. You invested all amount of time. Yeah. I feel that you guys are connected. Yeah. I feel the love. I mean, I I want to see Ali behaving like waking up and feeling not good at all. 
I cannot picture you not being nice. You're always nice. Oh, wow. But you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, but you, you, you're actors, you live in the process, and you get sick too. You get tired. So, oh, shit, man, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, but yeah. you guys are professionals. Last thought, and we drop it off, guys. Say anything you want to say to the camera. Invite the audience. Bring the audience. Why? This play is wonderful. Give me a little promo. Cut it out like an audition. Yeah, sure. Deliver the best to you, to your audience, to the people. Why? People have to come up and see you. There's a lot of plays going on in New York. There's a lot of playwrights. Come, <laughs> come to New York to do the work. Why this play is special? Why it's meaningful? Why Mark is great? Why you guys are great? And why the people that have to come up and see you? So, show time. I'm speechless. No, uh, I'm never speechless. I always You're have something to say. Uh, you do. Hit, go, man. I, uh, fly, bird, fly. We put a lot of work into this play. Yeah. Pour our heart and souls into it. Yeah. And the play is worth that level of commitment that we've given it, and that we're giving it now. Uh, it's going to be something great. Come see it. It's going to be at the Planet Connections Theater Festival. The dates are going to be on this... Uh, probably on this link somewhere or something. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be great. We need your support. Come through. Uh, yeah, that's good, man. But other reasons to see it. Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Well, uh, listen, great, great, gritty, dark comedy yeah. uh, by Mark Barkowski. Um, this is just a, it's just a really brilliant play that's about New York. It's about these guys. Uh, um, uh, you know, this mobster and his uh, writer cousin, and they're trying to essentially sort out their family issues. Hash it out. Hash it out. Um, and uh, it's, uh, you know, like I said, it's a gritty, dark comedy, very funny. It's exciting. Uh, you know, like we were saying, it takes us to all these, all these beautiful places. I think, it, you know, we've been saying it, it tugs at the heartstrings a little bit. It's love. It's it this kicks you in the nuts a little bit. Yeah, it's love and it's, hate uh, and, love and violence. Yeah, and all those beautiful and, things. And uh, and uh, there's nurturing in it. There's a whole. It's, it's like. It's every. Uh, hopefully, it'll cover all the a lot of the uh, things that are happening with everyone in life, just in, under different circumstances. It's gonna be. Um, unique in the sense of the circumstances, but also something very familiar as far as what it's doing as far as tugging the heart strings and the mind strings and all that. And doing all those things. It's a play that really lifts you out of your seat. I think that's a great expression, yeah. one that I've been using lately that I really love. And that's something that we try to achieve as actors. And I guess that's the thing that we're, we're hoping to bring here and to you and to Planet Connections and for anybody that comes out is come and see Salvi and Casimir and hopefully we'll just lift you out of your seat. Should we ask for money? Yeah, go give ahead. us ask lots of dollars. money. Oh, give us some fucking money, please. Indigo we need go -go. money. In the go go. Let's rob a bank. <laughs> Let's be very discreet about it, though, I know, right? We have to keep it in the kitchen. Hey, you're gonna kill a couple. <laughs> no, but we did it in the go-go, and if this thing is up by the time this, that that shit isn't over, put like four dollars and fifty-four cents into it. Or come to the, just come to the. Play. Or just not just come to the play. Come to the play and help support the uh, Planet Connections. Great eco-friendly festival happening at the Clemente. What's happening? At, uh, okay, Lower East Side Clemente. Yep. The Flamboyan, I think, is the proper <laughs> pronunciation no for the idea. theater. The Flamboyan. The Flamboyan uh, theater mm. and come through because if I know you and I see you in the street and you didn't come, I'm not gonna say hi to you. <laughs> You're gonna unfriend me on Facebook. I'm gonna unfriend you on Facebook I'm gonna <laughs> and talk behind your back. And if I see you, I'm gonna like not do anything violent because I'm not violent in real life, but I'm you not gonna talk to you. That, I don't no. know about that about still. That. No. I know I him, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know. There have been a couple moments where I thought, this, it's gonna happen now. <laughs> Nah, but I'm gonna, seriously, I'll be very disappointed if you have $25 <laughs> and you didn't come to this fucking place. <laughs> it's coming out. Uh, should we say something nice about our host? Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, sissy. Thank you, sissy. She's like, oh, yes. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Do you think you guys are crazy? No, 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 no. This you, has you been know so what? great. You know we what? Stay here. If we talk for another four fucking you're, hours. You're, you're, you're amazing. Your energy is so generous. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful I, I don't think I would have been able to. I know, and I do talk a lot. People who know me know, but I like to talk. But... I wouldn't have been able to be so comfortable to talk to you. I trust yeah. you, and I've seen you. Uh, we we met through the late great Elizabeth Kemp, so oh. that's our connection. That would never that that can never change now. No. So 
I love you and thank you for yeah, this. Yeah, we love it. Nice heart connections today. Yes, very nice. Connected. Thank you. Let's bring the fire, guys. Come and see this play. The headhunter. I want to see Mark's play in every single place in New York. Nice. This is just the okay. beginning, man. Let's yeah, we make this happen. We need to see the audience. Everybody needs to see Mark Rakowski's work. Yep. I demand it. <laughs> and cut. That's and a wrap. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Sounds good, I think. Right? That was pretty damn good. Thank you. Baby, we cover everything for how long we take.